Welcome to season two, episode five of Dinosaur Island. We are here in Chantol Island. You people may not know what we are talking about now, but Chantol is a part of the Dinosaur Islands. Yes, the island isn't called Dinosaur Island. It is the Dinosaur Islands. We see over here, blue, silver, I mean, diamond, si diamond, silver, blue, and Maggie. Ah! Ah! There's also a female parasaur office here. He doesn't really have a name because he's not that important. But anyways, he's still a dinosaur, so he's cool. Well, anyways, there's this Brachiosaurus. Well, sorry, not Brachiosaurus. There's a Saltosaurus munching on some grass. The Saltosaurus. Saltosauruses are very rare on the island. They're one of the more rare sauropods. But, well, does the little sauropod know is being shot by Ripclaw. Ripclaw strikes. All the dinosaurs, uh, all the dinosaurs flee, but Silver, the gray triceratops, butts. Ripclaw drag a big chunk of meat back to the wilderness in the forest. We are heading towards Tyrannosaurus Rock, but there is nothing there besides Baby T, or Baby Tyrannosaurus, and it is it is munching on a giant dinosaur leg. But this leg looks very familiar. We are going to be exploring a new island today. A few of them. They we are first going to Uzar Island. Uzar Island is a very difficult place. It is where cold dinosaurs go to hibernate. And some don't hibernate. One of them is George. The Utahranus. He is up on this beautiful mountain. He's staring at some herbivores down here by the forest. <coughs> you see a pair of Sorlophus. They're traveling into the rock desert to eat some basil. And over here, we see a purple, something purple in the book. It is a Brachiosaurus that is adventuring through the tall woods. This is a certain forest in the rock desert. It is the tallest forest in the world. The trees, they reach up to 634 feet tall. We see over here You see over here, in the final bushes, we see a giant stegosaurus. <laughs> it is tramping through the bush. Mm. 
There are many herbivores in this island. But there's another island we must explore. This island that we are approaching is Kato. Kato is where blue saw lives. Maybe we can find blue saw somewhere. But we see something up here. It is Bloodtooth. He has traveled from Skull Island, which is very far, far away, to Kato Island. Finally finds your way back to, to Tyrannosaurus Rock. He's suffering of starvation. <laughs> Sadly, he was going the wrong way. Tyrannosaurus rock is that way. So we hear something tramp through the bush. It just swing. <laughs> he hears blood to roars. He roars back. They spawn each other. They stand their ground. Flame was just trying to make his way from Vinyl Island, which you will discover later. They both tried to strike at the same time. Flame tries to run away. But Blood Peach is right on his tail. He tripped over. He takes his first um yip. He takes his first bite out of Blood Tooth. He tries He runs away. But sadly, sadly, the last horse rexes aren't very fast. He gets lost in the bush. Over here, outside of Kato Island, is Vinyl Island. It's a very eerie place. We haven't seen Blue Saw yet. And I doubt that he would be in Vinyl Island. We see Big Ed. Big Egg. He's missing a leg. So, he might as well have a peg. I rhymed. Okay, but anyways. This dinosaur was taken out and killed by something huge. And it left one of its claws behind. They are razor sharp and over 36 feet long. It must be the mystery dinosaur that's been in Dinosaur Island that we've been trying to track down. As we're exiting, we see something rustling in the bush. The dinosaur is tramping through the bush. It is Busa. <laughs> it attacks the camera. The drone starts to fall away. But Blue Saw has obviously changed since what happened to Red Flag. He jumped. <laughs> he brings the camera down with him. But he realizes it doesn't taste very good. So he runs off. All the other dinosaurs on Kato are tramping. 
We come over here, back into the main island, Chanol. Then we are going back into Chanol Island. We're going into the forest on our way to Death Island, where Red Spike rides. Red Spike has gotten burned and scarred by what happened in the carpet. There's a rotting body that some must have unfortunately been unfortunate enough to get caught in the poison ivy. It's a baby dinosaur shrek, so it has softer skin. Red Spike can deal with it because he has scales and he is full grown. Nothing has been happening much on Death Island, as usual. With dinosaurs dying and anything else bad. We come up to a place called Lidai Island. We see Hammer and Turquoise. We haven't seen them in a long time. <laughs> They have grown very big than the last time we saw them. Turquoise is adventuring a little while Hammer is not looking. Hammer sees Turquoise eventually and tries to call him over, but Turquoise stumbles on a rock. He's falling down the mountain. Hammer rushes down the mountain without falling. He can find no sign of his friend. He starts whimpering. But, sadly, her voice is not doing well. Thank you for watching this episode of Dinosaur Island. We'll see you in the next one. And right before we exit out, I'd like to give a little shout out to Little RPG. It is L I L R P G and he helped for making this video. And yeah, go sub to him and also like and subscribe on this video too. Bye.